Welcome, guys. What's going on? So we're going to get back into the Jeremy DeWitt case. So I made a video previously about his insurance scams, his claims, and it just gets worse from here, guys. Not only has this man stole thousands of dollars from insurance companies, he body cams it. Now, being a law enforcement officer, we should know that anything you say, anything you do, you will be caught on that body cam. But Jeremy DeWitt is such a... Oh, I'm not going to call him a douche, but he, I mean, he's so arrogant that he just doesn't care. He scams his way through life. There is a video by FIO. Go make sure I go support his channel. Um, he, he, he put out a video that was absolutely just truthful. He's arguing with the sheriff's department, I think, in Osceola County about them removing his tags. So here are a couple of documents that I did put into this video. You might not be able to see it, but just know these are actual court legal documents being filed by his previous insurance companies, USAA. There's actually a couple couple of insurance companies. We know that what he'll do is he'll cause an accident and then file a false, false claim and basically send the same pictures from a previous accident to his insurance company he had currently when he was faking these accidents and they finally caught on so it's lasted for a long time but uh orange county florida jeremy dewitt may have retired his metro state motorcycle one year ago but the law hasn't finished catching up to the convicted police impersonator investigators filed nearly one dozen charges against the white accusing him of years-long effort to use his funeral escort business to defraud insurance companies. Let's go ahead and get down. The first round of accusations related to the registration of Dwight's company cars and motorcycles. According to the arrest affidavit, Dwight registered some of his motor uh, metro state vehicles with multiple insurance companies under his wife's name and listed them as a personal vehicle. So if anybody that owns a business knows that you cannot use your personal vehicle to conduct business, that's when you're in that capacity, say security, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know about Uber because Uber is a business, but OK, but transporting goods and stuff like services like that, because it, it specifically says, are you using this vehicle for business or personal? They ask you that right up top. But in an apparent attempt to evade higher charges put on his cars used for business purposes, the wife's wife told police she was not involved in the insurance application process for any of their vehicles, which I think is a lie. I mean, come on. I mean, she drive, you know, when they when they got pulled over, they were in one of their metro state vehicles. And um, she she had to know. You're his wife. He's bringing in all this money, and you want to act. I mean, I, I don't I don't want to get into that's another video, guys. But the wife's wife told police she was not involved in the insurance application process for any of their vehicles. Had the truth been revealed about the sirens, lights, and decals on the vehicles, their insurance policy would not have been issued. An employee of one of the insurance companies told detectives. The affidavit said the White's actions represented a common insurance fraud scheme. Investigators added that while the vehicles were registered with the government to the metro state, the White failed to update his SO registration within with the required 48 hours period to include every car he owned. At some time, the White was under investigation for the registration of his vehicles. Detectives were collecting evidence that he was further defrauding companies with inflated damage estimates from crash scenes. According to the affidavit, Dwight submitted photos and invoices to insurance companies for a crash that happened in Orlando in May 2020. And we all seen most of these videos. I mean, I'm not going to put the videos on. You can go on a lot of these other channels that do a great job of pulling this stuff up from court, you know, for requesting it. You know, they're, they're spending money. So, you know, you got to give these cries credit, like Real World Police, um, FIO, and there's a, a couple other channels that do an awesome job on Dwight and not giving up on him. Dwight told troopers on scene that his employee was driving the car at the time, but he gave a different recounting of the events to the insurance company. In a recorded statement, Dwight made comments that indicated he was driving the car, investigators said. The report shows Dwight gave the insurance company multiple photos of the damage that metadata revealed were taken in 2017 and 2019. 
up to three years before the crash happened. How dumb can you be? How dumb can you be? I mean, it's only so much that you can get away with. You might not get caught at that time, but eventually you'll get caught. These insurance companies have what you call, uh, uh, I want to say, um, what is it? If it's not metadata, they, they have like a national database where they submit photos um, through that database so that it protects themselves. So anytime you get into another accident, you know, it shows that, okay, that, uh, what is it? Whatever happened to your vehicle previously, you can't claim it because insurance, insurance are cheap. They don't want to give money out anyways. Heck, they always try to low buy you. You know what I'm talking about when the adjuster comes out and, oh, well, we only gonna give you so much in this. Yeah, man, give me the money, man. Stop. You know, okay, that's another another video about me. So Dwight also submitted an invoice for repair work to replace his vehicle lights that investigators said matched the invoice he submitted to another fraudulent claim he made for an accident in Polk County in 2018. While the date was removed from the new submission, the invoice numbers was the same a, t a detective wrote. They said charges for the 2018 incidents were still pending with the state attorney's office and a representative, 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 mother, God, you know what I'm trying to say, for that office refused to comment on the case Friday. So this has been an ongoing thing. Again, I think they've been investigating this guy even when he stole the money from Tony. He is a, I'm not going to call him names because I don't want to get sued. I don't have any money to give Mr. DeWitt, um, but he, he's got to be the rail's biggest tool. Not the smartest guy in the world. I mean, he, you know, he thinks that since he records this stuff, that that saves him, but it only incriminates you even more. You sit there and steal all that money from that old man who who helped you out. You gave him that sad that sad story about losing your child, and you know he fell for it. And I feel bad for Tony. And then you sit there and inter interrogate him about an incident about him a girl stabbing him in the arm. Like I can pull up data in my computer. No. You just public uh, public requested. Was that uh you know you go in there and you, you look at pub public records? That's what he did. So I feel for for people who get you know who are scammed by by Jeremy Dewitt. He's not a good dude. I'm not gonna get into the stolen valor because I'm a vet, but let me know, guys, because I I really don't like him. A lot of people don't, and he scammed a lot of people, and I feel for these people. You know, especially Tony, um, crazy eyes. You know, that's another video. I got some more videos on her. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next video. Be safe. I'm out.